we are going to find the coil 1 network of this impedance function. So first of all, we need to identify which circuit it is, whether it is RC, RL or LC circuit. How to identify that? Draw the pole 0 plot. For getting poles equal denominator equal to 0, then we will get either SC equal to 0 or we will get SC equal to minus 3. So at 0 and minus 3, we have a pole. Then for getting zeros equate numerator equal to 0, then we will get SC equal to minus 2. That means at minus 2, we have a 0. Then SC equal to minus 4. That means it's my minus 4 also, we have a 0. Now, as we know, if the poles and zeros are on the negative real axis, it will be either RL or RC circuit. If pole is at the beginning, then RL circuit. If zero is at the beginning, RC circuit. But as you can see here, there is a pole on the origin. You don't want to consider that only on the negative real axis. On the negative real axis, zero is at the beginning. Therefore, it is an RC circuit. If pole is at the beginning, then RL circuit. Don't consider the poles or zeros coming in the origin. Okay? Only on the negative real axis. Beginning. So here, it is beginning with a zero. So this is an RC circuit. The remaining steps, just open the bracket and multiply it. Open the bracket. I'm not just taking too much of time for doing all those things because I discussed everything in the previous video. If you're watching this video for the first time, just watch the previous video where I discussed about RL circuit and LC circuit. So after getting like this, just do the long division. Our numerator it is s square plus 6x plus 8 that should be divided by our denominator s square plus 3s. Now just do the long division. If you don't know how to do long division, just watch the previous videos. The link is there in the description. So this is the steps for doing long division. Now how to find the first element. This is an RC circuit so it can either start with a resistor or it can start with a capacitor. How to find the starting element and ending element? For getting the starting element, check the degree of numerator and denominator. If degree of numerator is less than degree of denominator, the circuit is going to start with a capacitor. If the degree of numerator and denominator are same, then we are going to start the circuit with a resistor. In this question, the degree of numerator it is 2, the degree of denominator it is 2, so the circuit is going to start with a resistor. So the circuit is going to start with a resistor. Now we need to find the ending element. Ending element. If we have a pole at the origin, then the ending element will be a capacitor. If, if there is no pole at the origin, then it will be a constant. So the ending element, element will be a resistor. In this case, we have a pole. Pole means equating denominator equal to zero. When we equate denominator equal to zero, we will get SC equal to zero. That means at the origin, we have a pole. So the ending element will be a capacitor so the ending element will be a capacitor now write it in alternate ways if it is starting with resistor then capacitor then resistor then again capacitor so the circuit is going to start with a resistor then there is one more resistor in series so this will be the circuit now shunt shunt we have a capacitor then again we have a capacitor here now for getting the values, this is our impedance function. Now we need to find the values of resistor and capacitance. For series elements, write the value, whatever value is there, write that itself. Here it is 1. So the resistance value will be 1 ohm. Here it is 9. That will be 9 ohm. For shunt elements, for parallel elements, we need to take the reciprocal. That is the case for RL circuit. But in RC circuit, whatever value is coming here, write that here. In RC circuit, very important, in RC circuit, whatever value is coming here, write that here. So here it is 1 by 3s. So the value of capacitor will be 1 by 3 farad. Here it is 1 by 24. So the value of capacitor will be 1 by 24 farad. So in case of RC circuit only, whatever value is coming here, write that values here. Now impedance function writing in continuous fraction form, the first element it is 1. So 1 plus 1 by 1 by 3s. That is s by 3 plus 1 by 9 plus 1 by s by 24 s by 24 this is the continuous fraction form now we can do coir 2 now in coir 2 first of all you need to rearrange this in the ascending order of powers of s so if it is like this just write in the reverse order that is 8 plus 6s plus s square divided by 
3 s plus s square right in the ascending order s raised to 1 s raised to 2 s raised to 3 like that okay now do the long division with numerator it is 8 plus 6 s plus s square that should be divided with 3 s plus s square do the long division so this will be the steps after doing long division and this is the values that we are going to get here and in coil 2 network coil 2 in order to find the starting and ending element it is just opposite to that of coil 1 okay for finding starting element check that whether there is a polar at origin if there is a polar at origin then there will be the starting element will be capacitor if there are no poles at origin then it will be a constant and the starting element will be a resistor now for getting ending element check the degree of numerator if the degree of numerator is less than degree of denominator then the ending element will be a capacitor if the degree of numerator and degree of denominator are equal the ending element will be a resistor okay in this case we can check whether we have a pole we have a pole at origin and pole means denominator equal to zero at s equal to zero we have a pole therefore the starting element will be a capacitor now for getting the ending element the degree of numerator and degree of denominator are same so the ending element will be a resistor so the circuit is going to start with a capacitor and going to end with a resistor now write it in alternate form capacitor resistor capacitor resistor so starting element will be a capacitor then again a capacitor will be there in the series then this will be the circuit for impedance function then in parallel we have a resistor and a resistor so in parallel connection we have a resistor sorry we have a resistor we have a resistor and again we have a resistor now for getting the values whatever values coming here take the reciprocal of that okay for capacitor it is 8 by 3 so the reciprocal it will be 3 by 8 resistor it is 9 by 10 the reciprocal it will be 10 by 9 100 by 3 the reciprocal it will be 3 by 100 1 by 10 the reciprocal it will be 10 you need to put the units okay now writing an impedance continuous fraction form the first element it is 8 by 3s plus 1 divided by 9 by 10 plus 1 divided by 100 by 3s 100 by 3s plus 1 divided by 1 by 10 so in rc circuit this is very very important okay in rc circuit in coil 1 for getting starting element you need to check the degree of numerator and degree of denominator if degree of numerator is less than degree of denominator the starting element will be a capacitor if the degree of numerator and denominator are same the starting element will be a resistor now for finding the ending element if we have a pole at origin the ending element will be a capacitor if there are no poles at origin then it will be a constant so the ending element will be a resistor this is the case for coil 1 network okay now for coil 2 coil 2 is just opposite of coil 1 here for finding starting element we use the degree of numerator and denominator but here for starting element we are using the poles at origin if you have a pole at origin the starting element will be a capacitor if there are no poles at origin it is a constant that means the starting element will be a resistor for finding ending element in coil 2 for finding ending element we are using degree of numerator and degree of denominator if degree of numerator is less than degree of denominator the starting the ending element will be a capacitor if degree of numerator and denominator are equal the ending element will be a resistor just opposite of coil 1 is coil 2